In this video, I want to show you how to take some material that you may have written in the past and import it into Medium so that it has a date, a publication date in Medium, that matches up to when it was originally published. Obviously, Medium has an import function, and if your content is publicly available on other websites, you can often point Medium to that URL and you will be able to import that and you will have the correct date. My situation here is a little bit different. I used to write columns for the newspaper over a decade ago, and I want to have those still publicly available in case I want to reference them or point somebody else to them. And I want to have them all in one place. I want to have a medium. Now, I could certainly import those directly into medium. I could go write a new medium post. But what I want to do is I actually want to have the actual date when they were published back in the paper. Those are no longer publicly accessible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a self-hosted WordPress site to help me with this. So here I am in WordPress and I have my title of my article. I've got all the text of my article here and I'm ready to publish it on my WordPress site. And then I would go import that into Medium. That's where we're headed toward. But before I do that, I am not going to get anywhere by actually backdating it with the date, the publication date in WordPress. What I need to do is I actually need to add a time tag so that Medium will look at that and understand that as the publication date. Oops. So let me, uh, let me do that here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new block at the top and I'm going to add a custom HTML block. And so now I'm going to paste this in, uh, the, the time tag. I've already formatted it because frankly I didn't want to make a mistake here if I was typing all this out. But all I have to do here is actually change this part, the year, the month, and the day. Okay, And that will change the date for me. You can change this part here, which is the actual text that would be displayed, but you don't have to. Okay, That's not where Medium is going to get the data on what date it was published. I think you can add this about anywhere, but I've been consistently adding it right at the beginning. So I add that into my post. I go ahead and hit publish. Notice it's going to publish it here in 2021, so I don't really have to worry about um, uh, changing this because that won't affect it at all. This is what Medium's going to look at is this time tag. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that. I'm going to copy that link and then I'm going to come over here into Medium and I'm going to go to Stories, not Write a Story, but Stories. And then I'm going to import a story. So when I import a story, I'm just going to put that URL that I just got from WordPress when it, that post was published. I'm going to import this and you'll see here that it's imported the story, tells me that I can change it, I can reformat things, and then publish it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm, I have a couple things I like to do here. I'm going to turn that to italicies. I'm going to go down to the end and you'll notice here that it's um, added this published at um, on this particular date. Notice it's getting that older date. I want to actually come in here and I'm going to paste uh, the actual source where it actually was published, not my WordPress site. It was published on the Columbia Daily Tribune, so uh, you won't find it there anymore, but this is where it was actually published. And then I like to um, add my own little uh, part at the end here. So I have a little text expander where I can do that really quick and then I put the little break in there and so now I have it the way I would like that. Obviously you could add images all that kind of good stuff if you want. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to hit publish and then you can add in any tags that are appropriate. So Missouri politics that's kind of what I wrote about. and 9-11. Uh, 
So I then have the option to meter it, send a link to your email subscribers. I would be careful with this because if you're importing a whole lot of stuff at once, you don't want to overwhelm them with 500 um, emails about all the stuff you just imported. And uh, if you do that, then they might unsubscribe. You can always send a link to them later. So once you publish something, if you have not chosen this option when you first publish it, you can in fact send it later and Medium will send out an email notifying them of this post at a later date. You can also schedule it for later as well. So you could uh, choose that option and pick a date to schedule in the future. I'm just going to go ahead and publish it now. And you will notice that right down here, October 30th, 2007. I'll copy that friend link because I want to keep that in my own database of these articles. But that's um, how you get things backdated on your Medium post. So you'll see that date there. And in fact, if I come over here and I come to my stories uh, and I look at my published stories and I scroll way down. Do, 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 do. Here we go, and there it is. Way down here, it's in the correct sequence. Okay. So I hope that helps you. I think this may work with other content management systems besides a self-hosted WordPress, as long as you have that time uh, in there, uh, that time tag. Um, leave any questions or comments or experience that you have in the uh, comments below, and I will do my best to respond. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.